Um, well, first of all, I have to speak uh, entirely as an amateur now, since I'm no longer writing about either medicine or Hmong American culture. But as a, an amateur with uh, friends in both cultures, shall we say, um, I, I, I'd say that there have been um, a number of important changes, most of them good. I would say most of the changes in the way, I mean, most of the changes in American medicine, I think, since then have been uh, bad, um, uh, but not the changes that affect the way uh, American doctors and nurses and PAs deal with patients of other cultures. Those things have mostly been good. Um, uh, now, cross-cultural communication tools uh, are a, a subject in every medical school, every residency program. The programs themselves tend to be much more diverse. Um, uh, interpreting in hospitals is now legally mandated in ways that it wasn't when I reported this book. So most of those things are far better and have very specifically changed in the hospital in Merced, which I've revisited where I reported the book. And if anybody's interested in specifics, um, please ask me. Um, Hmong American culture has both changed and remained the same. So I don't want anyone to read my book, which takes place mostly between 1980, when the Lees first came to the United States, and 1986, when Leah had her neurological crisis, and think that if they meet a Hmong American, that that person is going to be like one of Leah's parents. Um, uh, I don't think I see any Hmong in the audience today, but um, if anyone were here, uh, you'd think this is someone who is completely Americanized, particularly if it was someone under 30. Um, however, the better you got to know that person, um, the more you would realize that there are any number of very, very important cultural traditions that haven't changed at all. So. Um, the danger that you mentioned of the Hmong becoming so assimilated that their roots would disappear, I think, um, at least so far, has, has nowhere near come to pass. Bo most Hmong marry other Hmong. Um, they have very traditional uh, uh, birth practices still. Um, uh, I mean, obviously, Hmong babies are born in hospitals, but immediately after the birth, there are some very important spiritual ceremonies that haven't changed, um, courting, uh, marriage, death. So the important life milestones are uh, celebrated uh, in ways that have hardly changed at all. The, the Hmong are very stubborn at avoiding assimilation. Um, I'm still in touch with one of my Hmong men mentors, a man named Dang Mua, and he told me a few years ago that if you uh, take two plants and transplant them, and with one plant you shake all the dirt off its roots, and with the other one you leave all the dirt on, which one is going to fare better in its new pot? And I thought that was an absolutely wonderful metaphor, because of course what he was saying is that if you are a refugee and you have to make a new life for yourself, dropping your roots does not help. In fact, it uh, hinders you from becoming happy and healthy in your new home.